What's up guys, Max Scoble here for Destructoid, and I'm here at E3, sort of. It hasn't actually started yet, it's just day zero when all we see is the press conferences and they show off lots of cool stuff, but none of us get to go and touch it in that room yet. So uh, I figured I'd just run down what we saw in Ubisoft's big presser. Uh, they started off real strong with like, one game I'm certainly looking forward to, and that is Far Cry 4. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't really super excited by this trailer. It definitely looks great. Uh, this is uh, It starts out kind of this, this bus ride. You're, you're handing your passport over. A monkey tries to steal it. Uh, you, you're on this bus going to this, this place called Kairat. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us, and we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Uh, unfortunately, as opposed to that that amazing Far Cry 3 reveal that we saw, where Voss, you know, kicks Jason off the off the thing and he goes swimming, and there's water, and you just get a sense of the world you're in. This is pretty much getting pulled off a bus, and then really, that's it. You know, there's no there's no action to go with it. It was just he he kind of stabs a guy in the head, and then uh, uh, what's interesting here though is that it sounds like Pagan Min is related to the protagonist, and he's basically like. Get in the chopper. We're going to go do some stuff. So uh, Ubisoft is teasing a more announcement, like a big a big announcement they want to make about Far Cry 4. No idea what that's going to be, uh, but we are hopefully going to get to check it out for ourselves in the next couple of days. So coming out the gate strong, Ubisoft then brought out Aisha Tyler, who's always charming on stage, and she said some funny things, and then they showed off Just Dance 2015, which as far as I can tell, now involves your telephone. I guess you can use your phone as a controller, so you just get up and you wave your phone around. It uses the accelerometer to kind of sync up with the game, and that way you can have more people playing and it doesn't require as many controllers. I don't know, remember when people broke all those lamps with their Wiimotes? Well, the lamps don't cost $500, so this could go horribly wrong. Uh, I imagine Mad Cats will be unveiling a, a whole line of, of Just Dance uh, otter boxes for, for phones. And of course, because moving from a guy getting stabbed in the head or the neck by a, a despot warlord to a bunch of people dancing around happily Lady Gaga wasn't enough, they decided to go back to the weird, dark, gritty shit and show us a big old cinematic trailer for Tom Clancy's The Division, which, uh, I mean, we've seen the game in action already, so getting a cinematic at this point is it's sort of not underwhelming, but sort of midwhelming, I'd say. It's just kind of, it's like, we, we know what the game looks like. We know it looks cool. Uh, it's it's kind of just setting the tone. Uh, very much reminiscent of, uh, of Cormac McCarthy's The Road. Uh, you know, it's got these, these sick people and you get a sense of, of time passing and everyone has this, this horrible, you know, kind of plague epidemic. And then there's people just wandering this desolate streets of New York. Uh, and then a, a big old garbage truck shows up with some assholes with flamethrowers who are just trying to make it shitty for everyone else. So uh, I'm guessing it's just, you know, it's, I, I, kind of like what The Last of Us was doing, except instead of there being fungus zombies, it's just just assholes in the apocalypse. Uh, but yeah, The Division looks rad. Want to see more of it. Um, gotta wait around for that. Following up The Division was another game that was revealed last year, which is The Crew, which is the one where you are getting the car, and then you can drive all around a scale model of America. This, they're calling it the, the MMO Car PG. Remember that? Yeah, I didn't make that up, so don't get mad at me for that. Uh, we got to see really a, a, a good sense of how big this game is. They did a, a, an entirely sped up demo of, of basically driving from uh, Miami to Los Angeles, which in real life, in the real world, is, you know, 1,500 miles. But in the game, it only takes you two hours to drive that distance. But still, that's that's a that's a big driving mission. Two hours of driving, that is, uh, that's quite a lot. And I guess it's really just kind of just drive wherever the hell you want. Go exploring. Go check things out. That's one hell of a pretty game. Uh, though, getting people hyped up for a fast, loud racing game by playing some very soothing, laid-back, downbeat music. I don't know. Kind of missing the mark for me. That being said, this game does look really cool. So, cars. Moving on from that, we got to see a big, huge, glorious cinematic trailer for Assassin's Creed Unity, which, as we know from the what was shown off at the Xbox press conference, this is set in the French Revolution, and, uh, you know, there's the whole kind of, uh, the rich people are getting their heads cut off because they won't let poor people eat cake or something. I wasn't so hot in world history. Uh, but yeah, this, this is looking good. Obviously, the, the new thing here is uh, four-player co-op. You're forming your own brotherhood. Uh, they showed us a, a little bit of a, a demo, with, which had some, some creeping around. There's new mission types, including murder mysteries. So if you want to solve a mystery, 
or just do some murder. You know, you can do that now. Uh, this is looking great. This is this is a it's a next. Well, God, I hate it. It looks next gen. I'm gonna call it next gen. It's a next gen Assassin's Creed. Uh, very excited to see how this how this works. You know, because I always get excited for Assassin's Creed games, and then frequently they just slightly rub me the wrong way. But um, I'm I'm certainly fond of the uh, decadent filigree and powdered wigs and guillotines. Lots of heads gonna get chopped off in this game. And so, continuing with this pattern of games where people get stabbed and then games where people don't get stabbed, Assassin's Creed was followed by Shape Up, which is a new fitness game which is trying to be more fun than, you know, your usual muscle man, uh, Jillian Michaels Zumba Fitness approach. Uh, this is kind of adding more of a video gamey spin. Uh, we got to see one demo, which I, w I was not thrilled on. I love this idea. I've actually been hoping for something like this because I don't like going to actual gyms and I do like silly video gamey cartoon shit. So it seems like a fun idea. Uh, their first demo, though, pretty much just looked like DDR. I guess you, you compete against your your own kind of uh, g kind of ghost mode type of thing, but you're running on a, on a piano to Eye of the Tiger or something. Uh, but then a couple guys came out and demonstrated that there's also a competitive push-up game. So you try to do as many push-ups as you can, and as you keep going, more and more heavy shit appears on your kind of on-screen avatar's back. So if you want to feel like a cool guy and do push-ups with a tank on top of you, now you can do that. But seriously, I would love to have a push-up contest party. Just have all my man friends come over, we all do push-ups. We will be muscle men in no time. Shape up, everybody! Next up was Valiant Hearts, which we've kind of seen little bits of before. This is the World War I uh, not war game. It's, it's more about the interpersonal relationships that are formed during war as opposed to, like, you got to shoot the guy in the face with your gun. Uh, there's an adorable dog in the game. Uh, people love it when dogs are in games. Valiant Hearts definitely looks like the kind of game that's going to kind of worm its way inside your heart and make you feel things, namely feelings. We can't have that. So next up, they showed off Tom Clancy Rainbow Six Siege, which was demonstrated with a hostage situation. There was a bunch of bad guys holed up in this house uh, holding this lady hostage, and it was showing the kind of different perspectives of the, of the good guys who came in. I guess they had some drones, and they come in, and they, they do grappling hook stuff, and then they proceed to shoot so many different holes in the house. Uh, but I know a lot of people were kind of uh, hoping for uh, Rainbow Six Patriots to be talked about. That was teased ages ago. Uh, but this is looking like much more of a solid game and they're actually you know showing it off uh so if you like to rescue people and you like having drones and you want to shoot a bunch of holes in a house this could be the game for you so ubisoft definitely had a pretty good offering lots of stuff to look at lots of uh things to see we didn't really get surprised by a whole lot uh though i think rainbow six was a good note to end on uh and it'll be exciting to actually see some of these games up close and personal in that very building right there unless they're in the other hall in which case it's over there you can't see it but we're gonna go to it. Anyway, I'm Max Gold for Destructoid. If you'd like to get tons of up-to-the-minute news about how these things happen, uh, check out Destructoid.com. There's a whole bunch of people writing posts just re really fast because E3 is an exciting time. And of course, stay tuned to this very channel where we will continue to make videos for you to look at with your eyes. I'm Max Goble. Take it easy.